Let me uh, begin my questioning on the matter of uh, whether or not nicotine is addictive. Let me ask you first, and I'd like to just go down the row, uh, whether each of you believes uh, that nicotine is not addictive. I heard virtually all of you touch on it, and just yes or no. Do you believe nicotine is not addictive? I believe nicotine is not addictive, yes. Mr. Johnston. Uh, Congressman, cigarettes and nicotine clearly do not meet the classic definitions of addiction. There is no right. intoxication. We'll, we'll take that as a no, and again, time is short. If you could just, I think each of you believe nicotine is not addictive. We just would like to have this for the record. I don't believe that nicotine or our products are addictive. I believe nicotine is not addictive. I believe that nicotine is not addictive. I believe that nicotine is not addictive. And I too believe that nicotine is not addictive. The federal court has ordered Philip Morris USA, Laura Lard, R.J. Reynolds Tobacco, and Altria to make this statement about the addictiveness of smoking and nicotine. Smoking is highly addictive. Nicotine is the addictive drug in tobacco. Cigarette companies intentionally design cigarettes with enough nicotine to create and sustain addiction. It's not easy to quit. When you smoke, the nicotine actually changes the brain. That's why quitting is so hard. None of the things which have been found in tobacco smoke are at concentrations which can be considered harmful. But the components themselves can be considered harmful, can they not? Anything can be considered harmful. Applesauce is harmful if you get too much of it. I don't think many people are dying from applesauce. They're not eating that much. People are smoking a lot of cigarettes. Well, uh, let me say it this way. The people who eat applesauce die. The people who eat sugar die. Uh, the people who smoke cigarettes die. Does the fact that the people who smoke cigarettes die demonstrate that smoking is the cause? Have they been proved to be safe, Mr. Coleman? I believe they have not been proved to be unsafe because when, as and if, any ingredient in cigarette smoke is identified as being injurious to human health, we are confident that we can eliminate that ingredient. Here is a message about the cigarette controversy from the Tobacco Institute. It's a fact that after years of research, there is no scientific proof that cigarette smoking causes human disease. A federal court has ordered Altria, R.J. Reynolds Tobacco, Laura Lard, and Philip Morris USA to make this statement about the health effects of smoking. Smoking kills, on average, 1,200 Americans every day. More people die every year from smoking than from murder, AIDS, suicide, drugs, car crashes, and alcohol combined. Smoking causes heart disease, emphysema, acute myeloid leukemia, and cancer of the mouth, esophagus, larynx, lung, stomach, kidney, bladder, and pancreas. Smoking also causes reduced fertility, low birth weight in newborns, and cancer of the cervix. Making weekly examinations reported not one single case of throat irritation due to smoking camels. But test camels yourself in your T-zone. See if you don't agree that camels are the mildest, best-tasting cigarettes you ever smoked. Marlboro Lights. Lower tar and nicotine. Malboro Lights, el sabor de Malboro, en un cigarrillo light. A federal court has ordered Laura Lard, Altria, Philip Morris USA, and R.J. Reynolds Tobacco to make this statement about low tar and light cigarettes being as harmful as regular cigarettes. Many smokers switch to low tar and light cigarettes rather than quitting because they think low tar and light cigarettes are less harmful. They are not. Low tar and light cigarette smokers inhale essentially the same amount of tar and nicotine as they would from regular cigarettes. All cigarettes cause cancer, lung disease, heart attacks, and premature death. Lights, low tar, ultralights, and naturals. There is no safe cigarette.
Manufacturers also may add sugars to mask harshness. These natural and added sugars can lead to the formation of acid aldehyde, a cancer-causing chemical that can make nicotine even more addictive. When you smoke, you absorb these dangerous chemicals through your mouth and lungs. A federal court has ordered R.J. Reynolds Tobacco, Philip Morris USA, Altria, and Lorillard to make this statement about designing cigarettes to enhance the delivery of nicotine. R.J. Reynolds Tobacco, Philip Morris USA, Altria, and Lorillard intentionally design cigarettes to make them more addictive. Cigarette companies control the impact and delivery of nicotine in many ways, including designing filters and selecting cigarette paper to maximize the ingestion of nicotine, adding ammonia to make the cigarette taste less harsh, and controlling the physical and chemical makeup of the tobacco blend. When you smoke, the nicotine actually changes the brain. That's why quitting is so hard. So many people focus on tobacco smoke in an environment because that is the only pollutant that's visible. And in fact, it's there as a result of bad ventilation. And if the ventilation is inadequate, then all the invisible pollutants must also be there. And many of these invisible pollutants are probably the ones that are really causing the reactions everyone's blaming on the smoke. A federal court has ordered Lorillard, Altria, Philip Morris USA, and R.J. Reynolds Tobacco to make this statement about the health effects of secondhand smoke. Secondhand smoke kills over 38,000 Americans each year. Secondhand smoke causes lung cancer and coronary heart disease in adults who do not smoke. Children exposed to secondhand smoke are at an increased risk for sudden infant death syndrome, SIDS, acute respiratory infections, ear problems, severe asthma, and reduced lung function. There is no safe level of exposure to secondhand smoke.